It's been called an honor no one wants. The gold star that is bestowed upon you when you've lost a loved one in military service. The gold star that all of you humbly and gracefully adorn yourselves with. You all know the pain and sacrifice that it represents. But it represents so much more. It signifies your pride in your loved one's sacrifice in service to our nation. It honors their legacy. When you display your gold star, you honor them and ensure their memory lives on. The gold star, as a symbol for those who made the ultimate sacrifice, dates back to 1918. In the midst of World War I, families would place a gold star over the blue star service flag in their window to indicate that a loved one had been killed. This tradition continued through World War II, and in 1947, Congress approved the design and distribution of the Gold Star Lapel Button, which identifies surviving family members of those who have been killed. The advent of the Gold Star Spouses Day is due to the tremendous work of the Gold Star Wives of America. The Gold Star Wives of America works diligently to ensure that the needs, concerns, and welfare of surviving spouses and dependent children are met. The organization was founded on April 5, 1945, when four young widows met in the apartment of Marie Jordan in New York City. When the organization was chartered as a nonprofit in New York in 1945, among the 15 signatories was Eleanor Roosevelt, who had joined the Gold Star Wives upon the death of her husband, President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Gold Star Wives Day was first celebrated on December 18, 2010. Every year since 2013, the Senate has passed a resolution naming April 5th as Gold Star Wives Day and honoring the contributions of the Gold Star Wives of America. Commonly called Gold Star Wives Day, it's important to emphasize that the day is inclusive and honors the sacrifices that both husbands and wives have had to make. To better represent the inclusive nature of the day, some have started to refer to it as Gold Star Spouses Day. This day commemorates your ultimate sacrifice as husbands and wives of service members. I am in awe of your resilience and strength. None of us in uniform serves alone. Our families are the ones who maintain the home front, are there for us when we return from the deployment, or just from a long day, and carry on when one of us makes that ultimate sacrifice. I know I speak for our military leaders when I say we know how important our spouses are in supporting our service members and war fighters, and will continue to support you as you've supported us. That is our vow to you. As Gold Star spouses, you will always be a part of the military community. Today, we honor you and thank you, even though thank you will never be enough. One team, one purpose.